All right, welcome. So we're gonna try something a little new today. I really like making chef's knives, and part of the reason I really like making chef's knives is I really like to eat, which means I really like to cook. So I like to test my own knives. So I'm gonna do something a little different today. I'm gonna to show you my testing of my knife by making salsa. So this is a uh, 21 layer Damascus blade, mahogany handle, chef's knife, very thin, good cutter. I'm going to start by using this heirloom tomato. You'll notice this is shedding. This is shedding off the side of the knife. And the reason for that is intentional. The knife has a specific geometry and engineered into it that helps to shed the food off the edge. Those are vine ripened tomatoes. Tomatoes used to be my least favorite thing to cut until I got a good knife. Now they're one of my favorites. All right, I have the block down. I'm do a nice red onion. This comes from my buddy Andy's farm. So you'll notice I'm wiping this down after everything, and it's a good idea to do it. Make sure the edge on the knife lasts a little bit longer. Um, the thing that dulls knives faster than just about anything else is acids. And everything we eat has acids in it. And if you leave those acids on the knife, the knife will dull very quickly. All right, I got a nice little jalapeno here. Hey Tim, how hot you want it? Let's go super hot. Super hot? Whole thing? Seeds and all? Seeds and all. Uh, I don't know about that. I'm gonna take <laughs> some of these seeds out. Okay, so now, need to get some cilantro in here. Actually in here too. All right. That's looking pretty salty to me. Salt's actually important because it helps break things down, cook in the pot. Since you're not cooking the salsa, you do need that chemical reaction of the salt or the vinegar to help break things up. A little bit of pepper, because I'm American and put it in everything. Now, a little bit of lime. Okay. That's the best part. Good? Great job. Hmm. Again, the knife I used to prep this meal is a 21 layer Damascus of 8670-1080. It features a varying geometry that helps to shed food. It is very thin behind the cutting edge, so it's very sharp and will stay sharp a really long time. Even when this knife is fairly dull, it still cuts really well because it's so thin. The handle is designed to index really well. You always know where that cutting edge is and it's pretty comfortable in the hand. It's designed to not tell you how to grip it. I prefer with chef's knives especially to have a knife that's comfortable in several grips. I feel like if it's telling you how to grip it, then it's telling you to do something wrong. Thanks for watching, and now it's time for me to have my lunch. I'll see you later.